I knew him vaguely at the engineering school in Christchurch, but really I met Malcolm when I applied for a job with a local contractor here in Auckland, and he was the manager. We were there for a couple of years before we decided to have a go ourselves. We started the company in January of 1961. Malcolm was a hard taskmaster, a very energetic, an original thinker, uh, and he possessed you. He was able to motivate guys to do things which they thought would be impossible, and they realised that they were getting them done, and so it lifted their whole spirit, their whole motivation, and they would follow Malcolm anywhere. I was able to say no to Malcolm, but on the other side of the coin, if he didn't have so many outrageous ideas, a few of which came off, the company would have never really got going too far, wouldn't have ended up where it has today. I think it's something to be proud of. We should be telling the whole industry. It shows that we have longevity and that we're in it for the long haul. The first major project was the offshore corn water system intake for the Marsden Point power station. It was 970,000 pounds, which was a huge amount in those days. Within the first 10 years of Jim and Malcolm setting up the company, we had operations in Asia, Australia, and Middle East. So culturally, the company's always been able to travel pretty well and, and do difficult projects. Working in the sea, working underground, working in isolated places comes with lots of challenges. And if you're not the sort of person that wants to do that, you won't necessarily last very long with us because going away from home's got its challenges you've got to be a certain person that can do that and you've also got to have a family that'll put up with it. In Singapore we survive because we are creative. We do come up with engineering solutions that are, you know, that do save the client money. I've been with the company for 34 years and 10 months. We are just like a big family working together. They are all very dedicated team and very driven. We work on so many remote sites that unless you can get on as a team and have a bit of fun while you're working as well under high pressure, then it's not worth doing it. You know, we see our colleagues more than we see our partners, so you've got to stir it up a bit. <laughs> they're, a, they're a pretty hard bunch, but they've got soft centres. As far as work goes here, there's plenty of work here if you want to do it. Here we just drive piles all day. The average person on wages here, he does four weeks up here and has a week at home. It is a hard life, but it's, it's a good life. You become a family up here. All the people you work with up here, they all become your sisters and brothers. I've, I've never been overseas until I worked for McConnell Dow. You know, I've had a lot of experiences, earthquakes, being evacuated from the Solomon Islands, typhoons. It's all excitement. <laughs> This open approach to creative thinking and creative problem solving really helps generate smart solutions or, or creative solutions to tricky problems. I remember when I first started, I thought I gave up my career in the first week when I told the CEO at that stage that whoever bought the car that he gave me should sack immediately. <laughs> and then he duly told me it was him. <laughs> Got every aspect of my go in this job: marine, civil, buildings, got mechanical, electrical, instrumentation. It's a, it's a fantastic job. 
Built environments are the building arm of McConnelldale. We operate predominantly in South Australia, but we have plans to grow nationally. My team here are uh, fantastic, my team. It's like United Nations here. We've had great success with labour from third world countries, and all you have to do is treat them as you would want to be treated yourself. We tend to promote the fact that although we are now an international company, this is where it all started from. We aim to, um, to be doing the same sort of things that uh, Jim and Malcolm did 50 years ago. I can remember quite vividly when I was in the first site and Jim Dowell sort of having a chat to me and just saying, you know, you may be the project manager, but you are no more important to this company than that guy over there digging a drain because each one's dependent on the other. The basic team culture that Malcolm McConnell and Jim Dell put into us has never changed. People are quite friendly and sort of have a bit of a just get on and do it sort of attitude. You know, you don't sort of have that office politics or blame game that you have in other organisations. People generally a bit more straightforward here, sort of what you see is what you get. The culture of construction's changed and McConnell Dow's kept up with that. It's rapidly developed into one of the major construction companies in Australia and internationally, especially in the last five years. But at its heart, there is still that family culture about it, that it's still a company that, that recognises its people. It's a unique culture at McConnell Dow. You really feel like you're part of the company rather than working for it. I left McConnell's once and came back, and there's a reason I came back. It feels like a family, that's why I enjoy it. My blood is green and black. I think it's great. I'd like to see them to be here for another 50 years as well. I don't intend leaving them uh, anywhere soon. I think for a construction company to survive 50 years in any market is a milestone. There's been a lot of other companies that have gone to the wall in the time that McConnell has been operating. I think it's a great achievement to be 50 years in business and to be prosperous as we are because we're in a pretty strong position and we've had some pretty hard times but we've got through them successfully and we are what we are today. We're certainly recognised as a major contractor in all of the places that we work. Guys, I'm very proud of McConnell Dow, where it's come from, where you guys are taking it to. Very proud indeed. Congratulations and happy birthday. <laughs>